Today on Toy Shoes, this is not Ryan Reynolds. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today we are totally checking out the brand new McFarlane Toys' DC Multiverse, the two-pack of Green Lantern's Hal Jordan and the Earth Negative 32, the Dawnbreaker Batman, who's the evil Batman with, you know, the, the whole Dark Knights thing. Here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and grab this one, found mine at Target. Really simple, easy peasy. This is gonna be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new DC Multiverse Hal Jordan versus the Dawnbreaker by McFarlane Toys. And of course, here is everything taken out of the packaging. You get two figures, get a number of accessories, and then you get a big old Green Lantern styled base. It kind of encompasses both Green Lantern and the negative 32 Batman, kind of like a good versus evil splayed across the entirety of the Green Lantern multiverse. You get a stand for the old negative Batman and then you get the bat construct. It's sort of like an octopus bat thing. Same exact construct we got with the initial first release of the Dawnbreaker, which means yes, this is the exact same figure. Same paint, same sculpt, same hands, same look. Need I go on? But for what it is, if you've never gotten this figure, I think you'll really enjoy it. Mine's a little bit loose in the upper torso, unfortunately. But in either case, yes, it's a very cool looking figure. And just to show you, yes, comparison wise, I would say if anything in the face, a little bit lighter color, like more gray than the first release's brown. The first release has the curved bat ears going on, but yeah. Everything's the same. I really just kind of hoped that he would have a sort of different paint scheme to him just to kind of differentiate. But with Hal Jordan, well, I would say that's more of the standout, especially with his accessories. So you get this really cool Green Lantern jetpack. I love all the constructs. I think that's a lot of fun. The more constructs, the merrier, I always say, when it comes to Green Lanterns. And you get a boxing glove, and it's actually pretty cool. It's got, like, the glow. It kind of looks like the ring is in there. You know, he's got the fist going on. I would say the little symbol is kind of turned the wrong way, if you kind of think about it. But that's just nitpicking, I would suppose. The base is very cool as well. I'm not a huge fan of these bases when they do these two-packs. I would say, out of all the bases thus far, this is the one that actually does something, that actually serves a purpose and you can actually get the figures on there because you get little peg holes right there, one for Greeny and then one for the Bat Greeny right there. <laughs> and I'll show you in just a second how everything kind of goes together cohesively. But with Hal Jordan, again, he is the standout of the two pack. That's an amazing head sculpt right there. I absolutely love that. Hands down, it's fantastic. Just really wish they would put the white wing tips. Because for me, that's Hal Jordan. Now I know the whole parallax situation, of course. But, you know, it is what it is. Maybe I'll do it myself. But in either case, right, you can say that it's just a reuse of the John Stewart Green Lantern body. They just colored the gloves white. Everything else is the same. Everything is just a reuse with a completely new head. But minus a fisted hand. There's no fisted hands on this guy once again so then yeah you can't really do the whole green lantern slide he's got the hole in the back for the backpack but i would say if anything 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 articulation aside which is pretty good it sometimes it can be a little wonky in standing him for the most part for these two figures yes i would use the stands for both these guys but extra hands all day now for the accessories i can't really say really shoving this on his hand works all too well i don't want to really want to scuff up the paint so I would say pop the hand off. It simply fits right over that. It looks to just look a lot better, fits a lot better, and it holds on to his arm. So that would be my recommendation. Instead of chewing up any paint, you can rocket fist some right there. Boom, Green Lantern punch style. Take his rocket pack, and you can fit that right on his back, which looks really cool. So overall, when you see this figure, yeah, it's pretty darn cool. And when you got the base... And you got the Dawnbreaker. Yeah, I mean, it does exactly what the back of the box says. So if you don't have any of these figures, I think you'd be pretty happy. They photograph well. They look good. It's a nice little nod to the Green Lantern core, right? Very cool to see. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's a ton of reuse in the sense of the bodies, figures, in that sense. And as you can see, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's just a little dab paint here and there with a new 
head. I don't really think that that's fitting, right? For Hal Jordan, I would say Hal Jordan would have a completely different costume, to be quite honest with you, in the sense of just reusing another Green Lantern's. But again, yes, when you got them all suited up, powered up, weapons and constructs and everything else, I mean, they look dang good. It's just a matter of, if you have all these figures already, you feel like you're just buying them all over again. In terms of the scaling with Superman and Flash and some other Justice Leaguers, Hal is incredibly tall. The scale, not to beat a dead horse, is once again all out of whack. And if you have Batman, I mean, as rocky as their relationship could be sometimes, right? Yeah, I mean, Batman is still taller than Hal Jordan, so I, I definitely see that. In terms of one of the best Green Lanterns, the NECA Toys' Aliens, Batman, Superman, all that kind of stuff, that one is still superior to this. It's simplistic. It's awesome. It's what I think about when I think of Hal Jordan. The only thing missing, again, is the white wing tips. But that's just a very cool Green Lantern. No, this one does not beat NECA Toys' Green Lantern. It's very cool. It's awesome. I love putting the extra parts and pieces you can borrow from Jon Stewart. It looks fantastic, but classic for me will always win out. And even with the Super Friends, I mean, <laughs> Mattel... It was real. I actually really like this figure. I still like it now. But I mean, you see the difference between now and then. A lot more souped up, a lot more detailed. But you know what? A simplistic figure that ain't so bad from time to time. So I'm really kind of torn with this. Let's say that. Hal Jordan is a very good figure. It's well done, except that it encourages a lot of repaints and reuse. And it's just not the form and function that I wanted to see for Hal Jordan. I would have expected more of a release. Now, if he gets a single release, then okay, that's cool. At least you're not having to buy yet another figure that you have. The base is okay. I do like it. I don't think it's fantastic, but it does work and it's a heck of a lot better than previous bases that we've gotten. Absolutely love the constructs. I think that works to a varying degree. And you can swap it out between Jon Stewart and any of the other Green Lanterns if you want to go that route. So I would honestly tell you this. If you're a huge Hal Jordan fan, then yes, definitely grab it. If you are kind of sort of on the fence, you're picking and choosing, there's a lot of reuse in this box set, to be quite honest with you. And I would say it's more of a pass than it is a grab. Maybe wait till clearance. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this box set. Is it for you? Will you be grabbing? Have you already? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Green Lantern. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, at least they didn't make the costume CGI this time, huh? And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.